Are you ready to bust some myths about the ascension process? People reach out to me all the time with concerns about that they've done something wrong and they're not going to be able to ascend or they've somehow messed up their opportunity or maybe even that opportunity has passed them by. They just weren't on the ball. They weren't sharp enough to grab onto it. So therefore, they feel like they're going to be left behind. Well, in this video, I want to bust away some of the myths about not being able to ascend. And if you stick around till the end of the video, I'm going to tell you a big secret that's going to change everything for you. So I've got clients that reach out to me and people reach out to me via comments on videos and things like that saying, well, I've, I've taken medication. Therefore, I think I'm missing my opportunity for ascension or maybe I've messed up my chances for ascension because I'm taking medication. It could be as simple as something like Tylenol or even ibuprofen, something like that. Or I've done certain substances, so now I feel like I'm not going to ascend. Well, when it comes to medications and things like that, it's very important to know that if you're following the directions of your physician or your doctor or therapist or whatever that is, that is absolutely fine. We're living in this 3D reality. We identify as the human being. My Palladian guide calls that the human condition. And sometimes we do need external help to keep us on course because if we don't get that help, what happens is we get caught up in our, in our mind, in our brain, right? The ego in the limiting beliefs that tell us that there's just something wrong and I can't fix it. So we go out and we get help fixing a problem. And that is absolutely okay. This is a journey where you're waking up to the truth of who you are. You've identified as the human being for so, so long. It's like you can't just rip the skin off and become a new you, a multidimensional you. It doesn't work that way. You have to navigate the process. And by navigating the process, that means you're going to still be invested or vested in some of those old programs and some of those old beliefs. And you may have a medical condition that requires you to get assistance from a doctor that is absolutely okay. I never, never, never tell clients or anyone for that matter to not go in that direction if they feel like they need to because they could get wonderful assistance, wonderful help, even sometimes wonderful reassurance from a physician or from a therapist or from a, another third party that really helps settle something within and keep them on pace. Now, that being said, it is so, so important to remember that you're an energetic being and to do the energetic work alongside any other sort of treatments or things that you're going through to help you with whatever it is that is happening for you where you need that assistance, right? So the energetic work is a key, important piece of that. So as we're navigating in this ascension process into the new version of you, you're going to still be operating as the old. So you're doing all those things the old you would have done. You do that alongside embodying, downloading, becoming that new you. They kind of become parallel, right? You've got the old, you've got the new, and you continue going along that direction. And that is completely fine. So if you've gone to the doctor, maybe you've taken some medications and it's weighing on you, like did I screw something up? You did not screw anything up. You are fine. You are still on this ascension path. The fact that you're here watching this video, the fact that you're worried about this should tell you that you're moving in the right direction because if you weren't, you might be stagnant. You might be stuck in programming, right? So that is an opportunity for you to release a lot of the fears, a lot of the anxiety around not being able to ascend or messing that up, okay? So we've knocked that one out. No more. That's a myth, okay? So the next thing, did I do something in my past that I'm going to be punished for that's going to, to prevent me from ascending I did something really, really horrible, or I did something really, really bad, and I feel like now I'm a bad person, okay? So 
Good people sometimes do bad things. And bad things, we judge ourselves based on what we're conditioned to believe as right or wrong. So when we're anchoring into the past and we're hanging on something that we did in the past, what we're doing is we are slowing ourselves down. It doesn't mean you're not going to ascend, but it means that you're stuck in a situation that your higher self is showing you that it's time to move past, okay? So when you feel like you've done something that has screwed up your ability to ascend, it's so important to bring it back to the body and breathe and become present and realize that everything that you experience is just that. It's an experience, okay? So you don't allow your past to control you. Just the same, you don't allow any expected or limited future based on your ego, your programming, your limiting beliefs to control you either. When you live in the moment, you become open to all that is possible for you. So it is so important to remember that and let go of the things that you've done in the past. They no longer matter. I've worked with people that have, um, that have been in jail, that have just done things in their mind that are truly horrific, people that have been addicted to drugs, all sorts of situations, and that is okay. As you navigate these situations, these healing opportunities, it's just a fantastic opportunity to let go of those old aspects. It doesn't mean they're not going to come up and you're not going to feel them in the future, but when they do, you give them the space that they are craving, that they are looking for these old aspects, and you allow them to be seen, and you move into your heart space, and you bring forward love, and you bring forward compassion. So, another myth. Nothing that you've done in the past is going to prevent you from ascending. Here's another one. My guides are angry with me. I was connected with my guides, and now I'm not feeling that connection anymore. I think I screwed up my chance for ascension. I'm not going to ascend. My guides have bailed. They're gone, right? So there are points in your journey, and I've experienced this as well, where you kind of got to be left alone. Think about um, being taught how to swim, right? Maybe you know, a parent or even a swim instructor or a relative or somebody puts you in the pool, right, when you were little and they're kind of walking around with you and they're kind of holding you. Well, at some point, you're going to need to go it alone. That's how you build the confidence. That's how you build the strength. It's how you really anchor it in here and feel like, yes, I can do this. It's kind of like the baby bird just getting visions right now of birds in a nest and the bird being pushed out of the nest. It's like you're ready to fly, okay? So sometimes it takes a while to really embrace that and, and really lean into that and accept that, right? We're still so tied to the old that we need our hand held through this process. And in the beginning, initially, your guides will come in to kind of hold your hand, to kind of give you those baby steps, to give you that support you need as you start to open up to this greater reality that maybe you were unconscious of before, right? That starts to open up, feels a little disorienting. Your guides initially will come in to assist you, but there will be a point in time when your guides are going to pull away. Now, your guides do not leave. They are always with you. You're just not perceiving them at that particular point in time. They're like out here watching. How are you going to handle this? How are you going to navigate these, these traumas? How are you going to navigate these triggers? How are you going to deal with this person that made you feel small? How are you going to deal with this narcissist? How are you going to deal with being able to step into your power and become confident, right? So they kind of hang there. Now, when you're not feeling connected, you have the ability always to go inward, get present, and connect. And sometimes it feels elusive. Sometimes it's challenging. Again, that's more stuff in the way, more dense energy in the way that you need to navigate through. That's where trust comes in. And your guides are kind of going to hang there. They're going to let you feel that so that you can heal it. If they came in and swooped in every time there was a sign of a problem, how would you get through the dense energy? The whole point is to experience the traumas, experience the density so that you can clear it within your body and more of that multidimensional you, that new you, can move in and anchor into the physical vessel. You can pull it right down into here. We're always looking out here for that support. 
The support comes from within and it starts with you. So if you feel like you're disconnected from your guides, if you feel like your guides have pulled away, it's because they're ready for you to kind of go it alone in this point in time. Now, as you get through and clear this energy, that connection is going to return. You're going to feel it, but you may feel it in a different way. It might not be so external. It may be more internal. That means you've taken what was out here and you've brought it in here and you've embodied it. You have become it. That is a huge sign of growth. So again, feeling disconnected, sit with the feelings, work with those emotions and continue to heal that. Everything will open up for you. That's another myth we've just blown right out of the water. Now, I promised you the secret that is going to prove to you that you really have nothing to worry about, right? All you got to do is be present. Know that the stuff's going to come up. That's your higher self pointing you in the right direction to allow you to heal the dense energy. Again, we want to create more space so that we could take what was out here and bring it in here. But here is the secret. You are not ascending. You are already ascended. You are a multi-dimensional being existing on many frequency bandwidths. You are there now. You have always been there. You have just chosen on a higher level to focus your attention into this lower dimensional field. Now, being that you're focused into a lower dimensional field and identified as physical as a human, you may feel disconnected. You may feel like I need to get somewhere, right? I need to ascend. You are already there. As you feel and as you heal and as you create the space, you alchemize the density, you ground and integrate your higher self, you are simply opening up further to the truth of who you are. That is a limitless, multi-dimensional being.